Hey guys, welcome to the Max Invest YouTube channel. And today we are going to be doing a general market update, looking at the ASX and the US market briefly. We will also then be looking at a couple of individual stocks. First, we'll be looking at Golden Nugget Online Gaming. Then we'll be looking at what's been happening with Appen in the past couple of days. And then we're going to briefly take a look at Ozone Stock. Remember, if you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. And remember, nothing said in this video is financial advice, and you should always do your own research. Alright, when we're looking at the ASX, we can see that it is struggling to pass the 6,900 mark. As we can see, it did briefly pass it, however, it immediately went back down. And I think it may take a little bit before it can get past that mark. The US market also had a down day and that is expected because we can't see all time highs every single day. Nothing too much has been happening in the broader markets that I haven't already discussed so we'll move on to the individual stocks. The first stock that we are going to be taking a look at today is Golden Nugget Online Gaming. Golden Nugget Online Gaming is a gambling stock that specialises in iGaming which is basically playing specific gambling games. As we can see, Golden Nugget Online Gaming has gone down about 35% since its all-time highs and is now sitting in the low $17 range. I do think this is as low as it's going to go, but it of course could go lower and I honestly don't know what will happen in the short term with this stock. However, I do see a couple of good catalysts coming up for the stock. On January the 22nd, Golden Nugget Online Gaming started its online operations in Michigan. Thomas Winter has already stated that Michigan are taking up online gaming at a rapid rate and gambling at a rapid rate and their expectations for revenue in Michigan are actually likely to be exceeded. We do not know when Golden Nugget Online Gaming are going to release revenue for Michigan and release their fourth quarter earnings, however this probably has to be relatively soon. If this happens and they release this date, I do expect it will run up a little bit before earnings as people will probably expect decent things from this stock. Golden Nugget, Nugget Online Gaming is also expected to be sharing things about going live in Pennsylvania, Illinois and Michigan. Well, Pennsylvania, Illinois and West Virginia. It's already live in Michigan. And if it goes live in more of these states, that's more sources of revenue and it will do better into the future. In fact, an analyst has said, if Golden Nugget Online Gaming can maintain its 12% market share across New Jersey, Michigan and Pennsylvania, it will have $300 million in revenue, which will of course send the stock price higher. However, this is a relatively big if to see if the company can do this into the future. It is also releasing 80 new games in 2021 and it has some big prospects ahead of it for this stock. So I do think this stock is a good stock right now. However, it is a quite a risky investment investing into this as not that much has actually been proven with this specific stock yet and I wouldn't be that surprised if the stock went back down a little bit. I'd be disappointed but not that surprised. For the Australians, you may be wondering what happened with Appen in the past couple of days because its share price has been extraordinarily volatile. Appen is an artificial intelligence and machine learning company that has most of its operations and deals in America. As such, it has had a massive decrease in the share price from its all-time highs of around $43 right now to around $22.92. So it has had a massive drop off and this is a lot because of the pandemic and all of its partners over in the US not being able to work with them during the pandemic as much. Recently, however, Appen had a spike in its share price of about 10% just a couple of days ago as people were starting to get a more bullish outlook on this company. However, it was quick to drop back down 10% and is already dropping by the minute today. The reason for this is because Macquarie analysts just issued a downgrade of Appen's expectations in 20, what, 2021. They downgraded Appen from an outperform to an underperform and they said they expect the share price to be sitting at around $19 throughout 2021. Appen have already said they will not do well in the pandemic and they have increased competition going into 2021 which Macquarie analysts are worried about. However, 
I do believe that the Macquarie analysts are looking at Appen from a more short-term perspective of what will happen with the price during the crisis. I don't think they're looking at it long-term enough, and I do think companies like Appen will be very successful long-term. You've got AI prices reducing by around 30% year over year. AI is also growing at a rate of 28% year over year. And Appen only has a very small market cap of $3 billion, even though it is one of the biggest artificial intelligence, intelligence companies in the world. And it believes that its total addressable market size is $97 billion by 2023. So I do believe Appen are positioned to do well in the long term. However, perhaps the Macquarie analysts are somewhat right about Appen in the short term and it may not do as well as we expect it to do this year. However, I will just see that as more accumulation and buying opportunities for the stock unless something fundamentally changes in the stock, which it always may. Another stock that I've been looking at and that I did a deep dive on is Ozon. Ozon is an e-commerce company in Russia, just like Amazon, just like Jumia, like all those other companies, but based in Russia. And it has seen about an 8.97% share price drop since its highs of around $66.64. I do think Ozon is only dropping just a little bit in the short term as some people are profit taking, but I do this, see this stock going quite well in the future. The reasons I see this are because Ozon has been having over 100% growth in gross merchandise value, which is the value of its sales, and its share price is still not that high and it's only sitting at a $12.6 billion market cap. There are other companies like Jumia, which have had massive spikes in their share price with a lower market cap, but a much less proven business. Jumia has had nowhere near the same revenue as Ozon this year, Jumia is way, way off from being profitable. Jumia has negative 111% margin compared to Ozon having negative 17%. So Ozon's way ahead of some of these companies and a lot of people just haven't caught on to Ozon yet. I have no idea when people will catch on to Ozon or if they will, but if Ozon can keep delivering the big things and the big revenues that they are constantly delivering, I do believe this stock has quite a bit of room for and will do pretty well in the future. And I do think this is one of the best e-commerce plays available in the market right now. It's I do think it's a lot better than Amazon, um, Jumia, and all of those other companies. And that's a lot to do with the share price and other and its future prospects. So I do think Ozon will do well into the future. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. This was just a simple, more low effort update on some of the stocks that I've been looking at this week, what's happening with them, what's going to happen with them. And remember, if you disagree with anything or anything like that, provide feedback in the comments, that would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching.